What's going on guys, Brandon here from RSK, bringing you another banger of a video. I know it's been a while, we have been super busy, probably going to give you a massive update video um, coming up soon anyway, about what's going on and what we've got to come. Today, I will be doing the mod that every MPS should be doing. Really? It's the open mouth. Uh, mod where you paint the bottom of your bumper so it looks like the front of your bumper is like a big open mouth plus all the plastics will be gloss black as well because the faded plastic i mean you can restore it but it's still that gray color you don't want that we're in the 21st century you want gloss black mint i'm gonna head down to bunnings now i'm gonna get some paint and we're gonna get back i'm gonna take the bumper off because i literally can take it off now in like two minutes so i'm gonna take it off the car mask up what i can priming gloss black and the clear coat and then probably i don't know how long you gotta let that sit before you can like put a wax or something over it but i'll probably do that just to protect it a bit more so we'll go down to bunnings now grab the paint i'll meet you back in the rig oh actually and we're gonna see how the audio goes today i got a wind muff for the g7x and it's on currently right now right now i can't even i've got the screen flipped up so i can see myself and there's just a big looks like a mohawk you should hear this is what you should be seeing right now. This is what I can see. See the fluffy? Fluffy boy. Alright guys, so we've just come out of Bunnings. I'll show you what i got now. I've got to prime the... Oh, sorry. To start off, i got a 600 grit um, sandpaper just to scuff it up just a little bit so there's no returns after this. Even though I've got the red touch-up paint if I ever want to go back, but I'm telling you now, the open mouth looks so much better. So, 600 grit sandpaper. I've got... Duralux Duramax Plastic Primer um, to prime the surface first. Then I have the White Knight Squirts um, 10 minute dry time um, on some plastic, but it's a gloss black. Um, you can see that there. And then I've got the Rust Oleum 2x Ultra Cover Gloss Clear to finish off the coat. So I'm gonna head back now, get starting on this uh, before the sunlight runs out because we've had rain for the past like two weeks and now finally we've got sunlight. So I've taken the bumper off, giving it a quick wash over with some dishwashing liquid just to get off all the waxes and stuff. But to make sure that we 100% get it all off, I have some wax and grease remover here. Um, I'm gonna do that, but before I do that, I'm going to, where is it? Use the 600 grit. I'm also going to be doing the badge gloss black too, so that should look pretty sick. They unclip, they've got five clips at the back. If you're trying to do it with the bumper on, it would be hard to take it off, but since I had it off, you just need a flathead, pull it out, easy as. So get to sand in those, and then we'll be putting on three coats of the primer, three coats of the gloss back, and then probably, I don't know, two or three coats of the clear coat. Pretty much going to be holding this edge line here and then just coming down and it pretty much goes down on the angle so it's not exactly straight just to give it a I guess more aggressive look hope is not sticking on this edge because it's been chewed up by the garage but you're not really going to see this low anyway so i'm not too fast um, i'll give it a quick sand we have masked it all up now give it the three coats of the primer and then start off with the black. So this would probably be just a time lapse for you. So what I'll do is um, set the camera down, do the three coats of primer, do the three coats of black, and then check out the clear coat. If after the black, we'll check it out. Oh, and I'm doing the badge over there as well. So let's put the camera down, let's get it going.
dry. Now wait for that to dry. Take the tape off, the number plate back on. I'll get the tape off, put the badge back on the bumper, show you as well as in the sunlight, because I have been running no grill this whole time. I don't even think you guys have seen it since I've had no grill. So to you, this is really nothing, but already it's looking amazing. Like it's a much needed mod. Like you can, if you've got a Mazda 3, uh, Jesse Collingham in the UK, he done it on his. He also done it on like his missus Mazda 2 and it looks sick. So if you got a Mazda or any car, just I know that it looks good on a Mazda. I'm gonna show you afterwards. This is like a must, a must. Uh. All right, so I've just had a quick bite to eat. I'm gonna head outside. Oh, I can already see it. Look amazing. And oh, look at the finish for a backyard job. I don't know if you can see it very well on the camera. I can't really see the screen, but what is that? Oh, it's a bug. Just, it came out anyway. That's good. But this finish is, oh, that's better. So it's, oh, it's so smooth now. When I first put the layer on and touched it, it was um, very rough. That looks so freaking good. If you're gonna do it, just watch out on your masking tape. What had happened here, you might be able to see it. From afar, you probably won't notice this side so much. Just here in this corner, the tape didn't stick down. And I did notice, I don't know if you've seen in the clips, cause I'll be sped up, but the um, paint, the, sorry, the tape started to come off of this edge here. So you can only just see it just from there. This side's worse. I don't know if I might be able to like, get my red touch up paint, put the tape the other way around, cover the black, and then just paint that little bit red. But from a, a distance, you can't even notice it, so I'm not too fussed too, too much at the moment. So, oh, and the badge, the badge came out so good. Yep, and it's dry, it's ready to go, sweet. All right, what I'm gonna do is chuck it on the car and then we'll see the finished product. I'll pull it outside and we'll get a good geese of it. Best decision I've ever made. It just makes the car look so different and what we're going to do next is probably a splitter kit and drop it on springs. Just stay tuned because we're going to have heaps of bangers coming for you now. Me and Alex had a lot of troubles with stuff. Alex may or may not have a new car. Really? Really? May or may not. <laughs> I've also got a meet coming up soon. Yeah, just massive stuff. So I'll get some photos of this um, when I go outside. Yeah, I'm absolutely stoked with it. It looks absolutely amazing. Can't wait to do the splitter kit and stuff. Sneaky peek. Oh, so aggressive. So that's a finished product. It looks absolutely insane. I hope you all liked it anyway. Remember, RSK is a family. If I didn't already say it before, which I'm saying it now anyway. RSK is a family. Spread the word. Stay tuned for bangers after bangers because we're not going anywhere anytime soon. Press the subscribe button. Become the RSK fam. Let's get it. I'm going to catch up with Alex. Yeah.